what you wanted all along. Self-fulfilling prophecy and all that. No, sir. On my honor, I'm without guilt. I'm unaware of any prophecy of which you speak. I merely executed your command as you requested. How dare you? I did not command that you be married to my daughter. Sir, I was raised a simple man of apprentice. I must confess to not being able to read. I have no comprehension of what was in the letter. Do you think me stupid? Do you think I do not know what I wrote with my own hands? This is not of my working. Perhaps the letter was tempered with, as I slept in the forest or not. Indeed, by your own hand. But it leaves, God help well. I'm sure my husband is this letter. Your husband? Devil take your husband. Father, how can you say that? All right, my dear. I'll agree to the marriage on one condition. Sir, I agree to anything to keep the hand of your daughter. Oh, oh, oh. oh, well then, you must perform this task for me. You must journey to hell, to the devil himself, and there you must pluck three golden hairs from his head and bring them back to me. <laughs> Should you perform this task, I shall no longer stand in the way of the marriage. Father, no! That's impossible! You do not do that! My condition stands. Take it or leave it. I shall take it. I'm afraid of neither men nor beasts nor the devil himself. I shall fetch the three golden hairs of the devil. Should you wish to cross swiftly and 